This is Britt Caswell with another example video. In this video, I'm covering example 6 from lesson 2-3 in the Solvus Realize Algebra 2 textbook. So in this video, what we are doing is we are writing the equation of a parabola in factored form when we are given the x-intercepts, or the zeros, and then we're given another point that they pass through. So first, we need to go ahead and talk about the factored form and what it looks like. So recall from earlier lessons that the factored form looks like a times x minus p times x minus q. All right. So the p and the q are the zeros of the function. So the first thing that I need to do is I'm going to start with these x-intercepts and I'm going to turn them into factors. So I have an x-intercept at negative 2 and I have an x-intercept at negative 1. So I'm going to, to turn this into a factor by setting it equal to 0. So I need to add the 2 back to that side. So I have x plus 2 equals 0. And here I need to add the 1 to the other side. So I have x plus 1 equals 0. So these are the two factors that are going to go into my quadratic. Oops. Not writing x minus p, x minus q. I'm writing x plus 2, x plus 1. Now notice, it just looks like I flipped the sign to write those. So you can just flip the sign and write it. However, if it is a fraction, you need to make sure that you um, that you multiply by the denominator and then add or subtract the other one over. Because in factored form, these aren't fractions, these are whole numbers. So what's left is my a value, and I don't know what that is yet. So we need to go ahead and solve to find a, and then we'll plug it into that space. So that's where this other point comes into play. So if I know what my factors are, and f of x is y, right, I can plug in my x's and y's, and all that would be left is my a. So that's what I'm going to do here in the orange. So I'm plugging this in. So f of x is the same thing as y. So I'm going to put 20 equals a, because I don't know it yet, and then I have x plus 2, so I have negative 3 plus 2, and then negative 3 minus 1. I'm sorry, plus 1. There we go. So again, I took my factors and wrote them out and replaced their x with negative 3. And then I put the y where the f of x is, so that the only thing left unknown is my a. So now I'm going to simplify my parentheses. So negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. And negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And then I'm going to multiply those together. So negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. Times a is 2a. Then I divide by 10. Or I'm sorry, divide by 2 and I get 10. And so that's what I'm going to write right there, where my a value goes. So this is my equation in standard form. Let's try it again. So first, here's my formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my 3 and my negative 3 to make my zeros. So remember, I just flipped their signs. So this one that's at 3 will turn into x minus 3. This one that's at negative 3 turns into x plus 3. And then we need to solve for a. So I'm going to take this 1, 2 and plug it in. So where the f of x is, that's y. I call it 2. 
and then I have x minus 3. So my x is here is 1. So I have 1 minus 3, and then I have x plus 3, so I have 1 plus 3. So I simplify my parentheses. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 1 plus 3 is 4. So negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 times a. So I have negative 8a. And I divide by negative 8. And I get a negative 1 fourth. Ugh, it's a 4 for my a value. is. So that is how we write the equation of a parabola in factored form when we're given the x-intercepts and a point. Until next time.